Hello and welcome to this short video that we hope you'll find useful to use as a warm-up before you go skiing when out in resort. So Shannon, you're going to stand at the front of the mat. Shannon's going to start in mountain pose. Now we're going to go through the sequence twice. We're going to have a modified sequence and then a full sequence. You can repeat these as many times as you like in the morning to get your full body warmed up for your skiing. So we're inhaling, we're raising our hands high. And then exhaling, hands to mat, head to knees. Knees can bend, inhale, flat back, look forward. And exhaling, hands to mat, step or lightly jump to the back of the mat. Plank pose. Shannon, lower the knees to the floor. And exhale, lower the chest down towards the floor, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Looking forwards and up, and then exhaling, pushing through the palms of the hands, bottom coming towards the heels, and then coming into downward dog. Downward dog, the feet are hips width apart. And from here, just inhaling and exhaling, maybe raising one heel off the mat, and then lowering and bringing the opposite. So we're just working the calves. The gaze here is towards your toes. So Shannon, if you bring both heels down to the floor, we're bringing the sitting bone as high as possible and Shannon is also focusing on pushing through the hands. So creating greater length from the shoulders to the hips. Inhaling, stepping or lightly jumping to the front of the mat into forward fold. Inhale, look forward and exhale, fold head to knees. And then inhaling, raising the hands high, palms coming together above the head and exhaling. So the full sequence, inhaling, raising the hands high and exhaling, hands to mat, head to knees. Inhale, flat back, look forward, straighten the legs. And then exhaling, hands to mat, step or lightly jump to the back of the mat. Lower and exhale, chaturanga, elbows tucked in. Inhaling, upward dog, come forward. And then exhaling, downward dog. So you can stay in downward dog for three to five breaths. Keep looking down towards the toes, pushing through the palms of the hands. And then when you're ready, step forward with both feet to the front of the mat. Inhaling straight back, look forward. And exhale, fold, head to knees. And then inhaling, bringing the hands up above the head. Palms coming together and exhaling, hands to centre. So Shannon, any thoughts or comments for that? No, I think it's a really, really good stretch. Good sequence. It's good to be able to lift up. It's good to be able to step back into a plank pose, really working on the abdomen. Really, really, it's just, I feel warm just even after doing two of those. So really, really good. Just know your limits. Most important thing is you don't need a lot of space to do this in your hotel or your apartments or wherever you're staying. So whatever space you've got, you should be able to do this warm up before you get onto the slopes in the morning. And there's no wrong way to do these poses. Just, just try to do something to warm up before skiing or snowboarding.